It's not often I get to cook with a brand new, to me, ingredient, something exotic, yet has been sitting in plain sight on the grocery store shelves my whole life. Canned cream. Yum! Middle shelf, 21st book from the left, page 84. White Trash Cooking by Ernest Matthew Mickler. Mama's Gone Fudge. This week we're cooking a recipe from one of my favorite novelty cookbooks, White Trash Cooking. It's the food of my people. It's uh, pretty simple. We're going to be making some candy, uh, which means we're going to heat up some sugar and water with some other ingredients. We're going to take it to uh, a high enough temperature that it can set as fudge, uh, but not be so high that it gets crunchy. There's a whole range of transformations that sugar goes through as it heats up from just syrupy water all the way up to charcoal. We need to make sure that we stop at the right spot. That's gonna be the only tricky part, really. So we'll do that, then we'll stir in some mix ends, spread it into a tray, and let it sit, and then we'll eat it. Nice and easy. So, mama's gone fudge. Let's get to it. First, we've got four cups of sugar three quarter cup of water, three tablespoons of butter, and I just chopped them up to help them stir in a little easier, a half a cup of cocoa powder, in it goes. And finally, the star of the show, three quarter cup of canned cream. And start the heat, bring it all to a boil. And the butter's melted and it's really starting to smooth out. There's very little granularity to it anymore. I thought those little things were bubbles, but it looks like they are unincorporated bits of cocoa. So I'm just smashing them against the side. Okay, you can see it's starting to boil. And here's where we need to watch it carefully. Water boils at 212. When it's got stuff mixed in, that changes the boiling point. So it'll start boiling at 212, and then slowly as the water evaporates, the sugar itself starts melting. It'll raise the temperature up. And I'm gonna lift this up so it doesn't spill all over, hopefully. Didn't really anticipate that. Sugar, as it melts, goes through several transformations. Nowadays, we have thermometers. We know exactly what these temperature levels are. We can measure them, but this, cookbook uses the old-fashioned way of testing the consistency of the sugar by dropping little droplets in cold water. And each of these little stages, these transformations of sugar, has different names. When I was little and my mom was making candies, she knew them all. She knew if she was trying to make this candy versus that one, they had to be at a, a certain stage. And with this one, the book says, medium hard balls when we drop it into cold water, which is about 240 degrees Fahrenheit. If we stop too soon, then it'll have too much water and be it won't set. It'll be, it'll be like a syrup. And if we let it go too hard, too high, then the sugar will crystallize. Best case, our fudge will be gritty. And worst case, it'll be like brittle. We'll keep watching and stop when we get to 240. I'm taking it on and off the heat so it doesn't splatter everywhere, uh, but I think what I really need to do is put it in a bigger pan. So let me do that. All right, there's not a chance it's gonna boil over this big old pan. I'm gonna put a drop of this in the cold water. You can see it doesn't really make a ball at all at this point. This is uh, a soft stage still, but a couple more degrees, it'll form a little ball as it goes down through the water. You can see it formed a little ball, but I can um, still kind of spread it around with my fingers. Not quite as firm as we want it, but it's very close. So I can still, I can still squish it it holds its shape. So I think it is done. I'll move it off to the side here 
and it says um, we want it to be lukewarm. And when it's there, we'll stir in the remaining ingredients. Well, this is obviously terrible. Not even lukewarm yet. It's it's still very, very hot, uh, but it, it crystallized, uh, turned into a crumbly mess, not fudge at all. I, I had a suspicion that the recipe uh, as written had us get too hot. Usually you want a soft stage for fudge and this had us go to a medium hard. It was too hot. So it's salvageable, maybe. We don't have to throw it away. I'll add some water and bring it back to a boil and uh, we'll try it again. Only this time we won't let it get so hot. And uh, if we're lucky, it'll set right up again. All right, fingers crossed, here we go. While it's going, I'm gonna go ahead and butter the tray that we're gonna pour it all in. So repeating the boil step from earlier, only this time I think I'll stop a little bit earlier, about 233 instead of 240. Perfect. I think I'll go ahead and just stir in our nuts and salt and vanilla. A cup and a half of mixed crushed nuts, put in a pinch of salt and a little bit of vanilla. So you can see it's all shiny again. And with this old fashioned fudge, you want to beat it until it is dull, um, still pourable, but, but loses that shine. So with my wooden spoon here, I'm just gonna stir it as hard as I can for as long as I can. Okay, now it wants us to put it uh, into that buttered dish and we have to do that pretty quickly. So let me go get it. Before it has a chance to firm up all the way, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it into pieces uh, and then we'll just let it sit. We're not gonna know if it's any good, if it's grainy, if we uh, salvaged it until it completely sets. And that's not gonna be until tomorrow. So uh, we'll see you in the morning. Good morning. I'm kind of surprised. I think we managed to salvage them. They're, they don't appear to be um, hard and brittle. Uh, they're not gonna crumble like we saw when they seized up yesterday. So you can see it's soft. Mm. It dissolves right on the tongue um, into almost like a powdered sugar kind of consistency, like very fine grains, which I think is uh, superb considering that it was all sandy yesterday that we had to remake this stuff. Very chocolatey, very sweet. It's a lot of nuts um, for this amount of fudge. I think that's good though, uh, because it kind of breaks up the just the sweetness. They're not just falling apart, they hold together. So when I went to bed last night, I was very skeptical. I was pretty sure that this recipe wouldn't come out at all. And it very nearly was a disaster, but it's not so bad. I think if I were to make this again, I'd choose a different recipe, something a bit more precise, something that had specific um, temperature measurements that I should go by rather than dropping chunks of molten sugar into cold water and, and doing things by feel. Uh, but this is Mama's Gone Fudge. Mama's Gone, she wrote a little recipe down for us, I guess, to follow. And uh, we might have been better suited if Mama was here uh, helping us along the whole way with this particular recipe anyway. Thanks, Siri. Not too bad. I'll, uh, um, I'll be eating probably far too many of these. <laughs>